Today is National Depression Screening Day. That's right, major depression is one of the most common mental health disorders in the United States, but people are often hesitant to seek help. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is here with ways to detect depression sooner rather than later. That's right. Good morning, guys. So psychiatrists say for people who are having persistent feelings of being down, the best thing to do is start talking about it. Doctors say there are some less obvious warning signs of depression. Those signs include whether you're getting too much sleep or having trouble sleeping. They may ask if you're eating more or less than usual. And you should also tell them if you're not going out and enjoying the things you use. To. These feelings should be discussed with your doctor to decide whether your evaluation, more evaluation is needed. And getting help for depression is becoming a little less of a stigma because people are talking about it more openly. Basketball players and there, there have been baseball players, football players, you know, celebrity athletes who've come out. And that's particularly helpful, I think, for men because these are people who are supposed to be macho and it really breaks down the stigma a lot. Depression can be caused by genetics or a catastrophic life event. It's better to get help for depression sooner rather than waiting to see if it will go away on its own because it can take a physical toll on your body as well. Using a sit and stand desk at work could benefit your body and your mind. Researchers in the UK monitored nearly 150 office workers for one year. They found people who used sit stand desks reduced their sitting time by more than an hour a day. They also showed improvements in their job performance and overall quality of life. Too much sitting has been shown to increase the risk of chronic illness like diabetes, heart disease, and some cancers.